Ancient Greece for Kids Have you ever wondered who started the Olympics or invented geometry? Well, you're in luck, because today we're going to take a trip back in time and learn all about the people who invented these things in a place called Ancient Greece. Around about 2,500 years ago, a civilization located in Greece began. It existed for the next 700 years until it was conquered by the Roman Empire. Like the Mayans, Egyptians, Persians, Incas, and Aztecs, the ancient Greeks were very smart and created lots of things that we still use today. For example, buildings like the United States Capitol and the Supreme Court building in Washington, D.C., are modeled after ancient Greek architectural style. Or the Olympic Games, which were first held in the year 776 BC. So where was ancient Greece located exactly? And what was life like there? Ancient Greece was found in what is now called Southeastern Europe, along the coast of the Mediterranean Sea on the west and the Aegean Sea on the east right across from modern-day Turkey. About 80% of the land was full of mountains, which provided the people with natural barriers of protection from potential enemies. Unlike modern kingdoms or countries today, ancient Greece was not one large empire. Instead, it was made up of various independent city-states, including Athens, Sparta, and Thebes, even though these city-states were separate from each other and often fought or competed against each other, they all spoke the same language and had similar cultures and customs. Much like other great civilizations, ancient Greece was divided up into time periods, each one with its own unique events and contributions. First is the Archaic Period which happened between 800 and 480 BC. The first Olympics was held during this time, and the philosopher and writer, Homer, wrote two of the most famous poems in the world's history, Iliad and Odyssey. And a famous mathematician and scientist named Pythagoras was born. We still use his Pythagorean theorem in geometry today. Next is the Classical Period, which lasted from 480 BC to 323 BC. The famous philosophers Socrates and Aristotle lived during this time. Alexander the Great, ancient Greece's most famous leader, was also born and eventually conquered many lands surrounding the Greek Empire after he became king. And the Parthenon, which is a temple in honor of the goddess Athena, was built in the city-state of Athens. The Parthenon still stands today and is the oldest ancient Greek building to survive in modern times. Last is the Hellenistic period, which spanned from 323 BC to 146 BC. This era marked the death of Alexander the Great and the decline of the ancient Greek civilization. After Alexander the Great died, the ancient Romans began to conquer Greek lands, eventually making all of ancient Greece a part of the Roman Empire. Now, let's explore a little bit about what daily life was like. The rooms of Greek homes were built around an open space called a courtyard. The courtyard was the center of activity for most ancient Greeks and included a well for water and an altar for religious worship. Children were treated differently based on their gender. Depending on the city-state, boys were formally educated starting at age 7, either at school or at home. Girls, on the other hand, learned homemaking skills like cooking or sewing, though some were also taught to read and write. Girls in the city-state of Sparta received the most education and freedoms of all the city-states in ancient Greece. 
Most Greek men were farmers, so they ate what they grew. Olives were a very important part of the people's diets. The majority of the Greek diet consisted of cheeses, fruits, vegetables, and fish. Other occupations for men included fishermen, soldiers, teachers, government workers, or craftsmen. Women typically stayed home as homemakers, caring for children, cooking, sewing, and doing other work inside the home. Unfortunately, most citizens of ancient Greece enslaved other people, usually from lands that the empire had conquered. Even the poorest of Greek families typically relied on the labor of at least one enslaved person. In fact, there were about as many enslaved people in Greece as there were free people. So even though the ancient Greeks were advanced in many ways, their practice of enslavement was not one of them. Now that you know all about ancient Greece, let's test your knowledge with a few review questions. How many different time periods was ancient Greece divided into? Can you name at least one of them? 3. Archaic, Classical, Hellenistic True or false, in ancient Greece, only boys received a formal education. True. Fill in the blank. Athens, Sparta, and Thebes were three of the independent blank states found in ancient Greece. City. Fantastic work, everybody! Even though ancient Greece was eventually conquered, most of Western culture today was impacted by the ancient Greeks in many areas, including government, philosophy, science, art, literature, math, and sports. So, when you are old enough to vote in an election, or turn on your TV to watch the Olympics, or solve a math problem using Pythagorean theorem, you can thank the ancient Greeks. Hope you had fun learning with us. Visit us at learnbright.org for thousands of free resources and turnkey solutions for teachers and homeschoolers.